Hey guys, I'm actually my fame's a really weird patch of light. Actually, I think I need to solar charge for a bit. Ooh, that's nice. It's really nice. I'll try and sit over here. That's really annoying. Um, yeah, so I've just done a live stream. Sorry if this is distressing to watch. I've just done the live stream um, and it was really fun, like a gaming one. Trying to do them every day. Well, I'm trying to do them every other day, but then if I miss a day, I try and do it the next day. And it's ended up just being trying to do it every day because I missed it all the time. So um, it was really fun. I just didn't know that my Sims like carried on aging. I was playing The Sims, by the way. Um, I've got some other games to play. I've been getting Humble Bundles quite a lot, and I got the that mystery one is it mystery and it was all like puzzles they had broken sword in there so I thought well I'll get the humble bundle and then because you could can get you get the hum like a bundle and then if there's any games in there that I don't want or I've already got I give them away to you guys I usually do it on twitter so I've got broken sword in there to give away broken sword five five four five the serpent's curse and um, I'm quite excited to give that away because that's a pretty good prize. It's a really good game. Um, but there are some other games in there that I'm looking forward to playing and I know nothing about them. I've watched a trailer of one and I think they're just like point and click puzzle games. I think that's the kind of genre that links them all together. So I'm excited to do live streams of those and kind of figure them out and learn about them with you guys. Because sometimes you get people on a stream who know lots about the games that I'm playing and they can help and I really like that uh, so it's quite nice and interactive and that's the Kim Kardashian one from yesterday is going up on my gaming channel today I'm going to do that in a minute um, there's been an app review on my um, main channel today which isn't normal I know but it was a sponsored video and they asked for it to be on a weekend which I said that's absolutely fine because they've got nothing else Apart from Sim Saturday, I've got nothing else, so there's no sense in like keeping the video from you guys. Um, yeah, that was sponsored, but you know, you guys know that that doesn't mean that I'm not going to be negative. I actually did find a little bug in that app, which they, which was really good because I, I actually sent them because it was a fame bit sponsor. You have to send them the video to approve. Um, and I've, I always get a bit wary of that because I am really honest. I think if they disapprove it, then it's not really fair. But then I will tell you guys on this channel, I did this work with this company and then they disapproved it. So you would know anyway. Um, but yeah, they never, they never just, even if you give them negative reviews, they just take it on board. And I really like that because they don't expect you to lie. And I think that's really great because I think a lot of people they feel pressured when they do a sponsor video to say good things and I couldn't do that. I have to be honest um, and I think some people just feel pressured and I really don't think you need to because companies they they don't want you to be dishonest and with, when I found this bug in the thing I, sub I submitted the video and they were like right thank you so much for finding this bug we fixed it um so i redid the video and the bug wasn't there and it was brilliant like they'd fixed it they had no idea the bug was there and i find that a lot with the video the app reviews that i do that even art sponsored people write to me and go like say i've given it like a really low rating and said it's naff it does this it needs to do this it needs to remove that on oh, you guys write stuff in the comments as well they contact me and say thank you so much for doing this review we had no idea people felt that way we've now changed it and you just think that is amazing that is so good like you presume that they know but they don't and there's there's always going to be some that won't take it on board and whatever but that's their problem but I've never come across anyone that wouldn't take the feedback and I think that's really really fun um fun good I've got a few sponsors I've got a bit of headache <laughs> Um, I've got a few sponsored videos coming up and it's been quite fun choosing them. Sorry, I keep saying quite fun. But don't 
think that I'm just bombarding you with random stuff. Everything I've chosen is either relevant to the channel or relevant to me. I try to choose things that I like. Well, I do. I always, I can't do videos about things that I don't like. But it's, sometimes it might seem a bit random from your point of view. But it's things that I, I really can't pass up on because I think I want to try that, like as a person. And the only way I'm going to get to try it is by showing you guys on my YouTube channel. But it also gives me the opportunity to see what works and what doesn't, which is why I do all these challenge videos and like the get ready with me video, things like that I've never done before. And sometimes I think, oh, how are they going to receive that? Didn't, would my audience really like that? And sometimes you guys don't like it and don't watch it and some guys sometimes you eat it up like there's a good link here the candy taste test i would never i don't even remember how that came about it was just from going to la i think and i'd seen someone do one i thought oh i could try that just went like that great everyone loved it now everyone wants not everyone <laughs> well definitely not everyone loves it but it was a talking point and some people really like them and some people don't and it's just received and watched and I like that because it's in, and it's like right what are we gonna do next um I would never have known that if I hadn't tried that if I just stuck to the same videos every time I would never have known so I do like that's another thing I like about sponsorships is that it gives me things to try and there's some really cool ones coming there's one that's like as far as I understand, it's like a face mask, but you can plant it afterwards and it becomes a plant. And when I see things like that, I think that is, I've never done anything like that before. But I, I have these ideas of the way I'll film the video and like how I'll put it together and things. And I really enjoy that. So that, you know, it's not, although it might seem random from your point of view, there's a lot of thought process behind it. And I just wanted to put that across to you. So today is macaroon day. Um, I haven't got a macaroon, which is sad because I like them. It would have been a good day to do like a macaroon taste test. That would be good. I could order like a massive box of macaroons and just sit and eat them and call it a candy taste test. I might do that. I might have to do that one. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm going to go because Britain's got talents the final tonight let me know who you want to win in the comments I have no idea who I want to win. I wanted that little talking dog to win but it didn't get through um I like the glow up dancey people and I can't think of anyone else but there probably is probably are other people the magician's good but he's a bit he was a bit nervous like uncomfortably so and I don't know who else so anyway I'm looking forward to watching it I hope you have had a great day and have a great night and a great life and I'll see you tomorrow